Well, nobody told me I was going to have to follow Andy. Um, and that's, how, do I, how, do I, how do I beat that? Um, my name's Stuart Fitt. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, um, in uh, air archaeological survey. Um, I can't promise this next 15 minutes is going to change your life, but I hope you find it interesting. Um, firstly, a bit about myself and why I got involved. Uh, I've lived in Gosport for um, over 40 years, um, and I grew up exploring the hulks and wrecks around the foreshore, and I was always fascinated um, by the story of how they got there and, and their history. Um, but of course, being a teenage lad, I wasn't really interested in, in following that up, but uh, I had far more distractions than that. Um, but a few years later, and with a bit more time on my hands, I uh, decided to start researching it. Uh, that research led me to the Fortin Lake Archaeological Project reports from 2006 to 2009, um, conducted by the Nautical Archaeological Society, which proved to be a treasure trove of information about, uh, about all these vessels that fascinated me as a child. Uh, then a few years ago, I booked a place on a tour of the uh, wrecks of um, Thornton Lake, uh, which was part of the Gosport Heritage Open Days. Um, it was a fascinating and insightful morning conducted by Lauren. Um, there was many highlights, including um, finding uh, the Wellington boot left by the, uh, the, the unlucky chap from the previous day's tour. <laughs> <laughs> However, during the course of the morning, Lauren discussed the increasing use of drones in archaeological survey and how they sometimes struggled to get the resources, i.e. the drone and the pilot. Um, and this got me a thinking, and I subsequently contacted Lauren uh, to offer my assistance, besides which offered me a great excuse to upgrade my drone um, and a chance to spend as much money as my wife does on shoes. <laughs> so in 2016, uh, Lauren and myself carried out an aerial survey of Fortin Lake. This was performed with uh, my DJI Phantom 4, uh, 4K drone, which captures 4K images and HD video. Uh, and this is the same site that was recorded um, by the 2006 to 2009 project. But as you'll see, the use of this new technology um, allows us to record the vessels in far more detail and access vessels which were previously impossible to get to. In fact, during the survey, you noted what looks like uh, a previously unrecorded vessel, which wasn't in the, the previous survey. Uh, and on closer inspection, um, it, it turns out that it was uh, an un unidentified vessel. And as you can see, uh, this clearly wouldn't have been accessible um, to uh, traditional survey methods because of its proximity to the channel and, and, and sighting in, in deep mud. So next we needed to collect the images uh, for a 3D model. And in this case, it's the Medina chain ferry, which used to operate across the, uh, the, the Medina River in Cowes. Um, and this is quite an interesting vessel in, in Gosport because uh, of where it is, and, uh, and it's got quite a lot of history. In fact, uh, there was a chap that used this as a workshop uh, for quite some time after it was uh, removed from the Isle of Wight and put into, put into Gosport. So to do this, we used uh, numbered plates, as you can see there, as, as targets to help with the post-processing. Uh, and the model requires a selection of images. So we have two, uh, we take two linear passes uh, and, a, and two circular um, passes with taking images at different heights and different camera angles. Um, it takes a lot of skill to, uh, to fly in a perfect circle like that. Um, I, I would imagine it would, I mean, the, the, the drone software does that for you anyway, so <laughs> I mean, if you had to do it yourself, I'd imagine it'd be quite difficult. Um, so as you can see, the 3D models that it builds, hopefully this is going to work. So these are the, uh, the 3D models that, that they build from the images that we take. And I think you'll agree they're very impressive in their detail. 
I haven't seen this video yet, so I don't know how long it goes on, so just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Lauren, give me a heads up when she's about to finish. I'll, I'll move on. I think we'll, we'll move on. Has everyone seen enough of that? <laughs> so earlier this year, I joined the training session with Citizen on this minesweeper. Um, which is located just around the harbour from Fortin Lake. Um, this is a very prominent hulking gospel. It's, it's quite famous. It's even got its own Facebook page. Um, and it's, as, as I say, when I, when I was growing up um, in, in the area, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't vandalise it at all, honestly. It was, I just played around it <laughs> quite close. Didn't steal any of the material. Um, and again, we used the same technique to, uh, to make a 3D model of, of this vessel. Um, and this was how it originally looked in sometime in the 1960s when it was um, when it was actually abandoned on the foreshore. Um, so this is the, the hole they cut in the side to, to remove the engines, and it was basically left there to rot. So you can see in in that time how much it's it's decayed over over that time. So the 3D model. Um, do, do we have the 3D model of, of this one? <coughs> or not? It's not on here. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see how much that's that's um, decayed over that time. Um, and again, we'll you know we'll we'll, we'll revisit some of these um, and in a couple of years and, and make another model and um, basically see how how much um, decay there has been. So yeah, it's a, the, I mean the software is, is fantastic. It just it's such a such a great te uh, technique. So in terms of um, future planning, uh, with certainly that un unidentified vessel in Thornton Lake uh, warrants a lot more investigation. I'd love to find out what that is. Um, I personally have a lot of interest in this vessel, which is the, an old Gosport ferry called the Vadney. Um, so I'd love to do a 3D model of that. Uh, that again has a lot of local history and, and has a, a lot of interest. Um, and clearly I would love to do any, any further projects that, uh, that Citizen would like me to assist with. So thank you for your time. I'll take any questions.